The first wave of the Booster Course Pass is coming out in less than a month, which is why I want to talk about the additional features that should be included in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe when the new tracks get added. One of the most important features to add is new characters. I definitely think that new characters should be added to the game for a lot of reasons, mainly because 48 additional tracks are being added, but no new characters. I know that most of the tracks are ported from Mario Kart Tour, but this should be the chance to add more characters to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, especially if Mario Kart Tour keeps on adding unique characters such as Pauline, Funky Kong and Hammer Bro. The way it should work is by adding two new characters as free DLC each time a booster course wave is released, making the updates a lot more entertaining. Another feature that should be included is online play invitations. Online play invitations should definitely be added as a feature in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, especially if we're going to get six different updates for the booster course tracks. Having the ability to invite your friends through Mario Kart would be just as good as inviting people in Super Mario Party and Mario Golf Super Rush. This last feature wouldn't possibly happen, but it would be cool to make your own Grand Prix Cups. This would be the best feature for the Booster Course Pass, especially if the game has a total of 96 tracks. Custom Cups can be organised in a lot of ways, such as having all circuit tracks, or even having all Rainbow Road tracks. The ideas are endless. So these are the features that should be included in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and comment down below what characters you want to see in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe.